So you've probably heard of QMK, or Quantum Mechanical Keyboard and Firmware. It's the very popular open source keyboard firmware used by a lot of custom mechanical keyboards. There's a couple of features that I've started using lately that I think are really cool and I wanted to demonstrate. They're called one-shot layers and tap dancing. One-shot layers means that you can have a key enable a layer until you hit another key. Rather than toggling that layer on and leaving it on, or having to hold the key down to keep the layer enabled. One shot layer means you can tap something and that layer will turn on just long enough until you tap another key. So after you tap the next key then the layer will turn back off again and go back to a previous layer. Tap dancing simply means that you can configure the behavior of keys to act differently when you hold them down versus when you tap them. So let me give you an example how I'm using these features together on this keyboard. So one thing, after most of my life using full-size keyboards or TKLs, I've gotten into the habit of using my left hand by itself to perform a lot of common actions, such as like F5 or any of my function row really, or Alt F4 to close a window. So now with this 65% keyboard, I don't have a function row, and I don't want to remap one of these keys on the left side to be a function key, to be a dedicated function key. And I don't also want to have to use my right hand for tasks that I'm accustomed to only needing my left hand for. So what I've done is I've taken my Alt key and I've made it register as Alt when I hold it down. So when I hold down Alt, it acts the same as it normally would. So I can use it to switch windows, for example, with Alt Tab. Or I can do Alt S to save some file. However, if I then tap the Alt key, it actually behaves as the one-shot layer activation. So it turns on my function layer until I hit the next key. So for example, if I want to uh, go refresh keep talk, normally I would have to hold down function with my left hand, and then I'd hit 5, and I'd get F5, right? Well, with this uh, setting that I have here, I can tap Alt and hit 5, and it'll do the same thing. So that's pretty cool. Another example of where this comes in handy, if I want to rename a file, you know, tap and then 2, rename it. So that's pretty cool. So another thing that I think is even cooler that I can do with this combination of tap dancing and one-shot layers is combinations where I would otherwise have to use three keys. I can do with two keys. So what I've done is I've configured my alt so that, as I already said, if I hold it down, it acts like I'm holding down the Alt key. If I tap it, it activates the function layer just until I hit the next key. And if I do both, if I first tap it and then hold it down, it activates the function layer, keeps it activated until I hit another key. But while I'm holding the Alt key, that doesn't count as, this, as another separate key. So that actually acts as if I'm holding down the Alt key. So as a result is, the result of that is I can get the Alt F4 functionality, for example. So to do that, I do tap and hold and then 4, and then I get the Alt F4 functionality. So I'll try this on one of my windows, tap and hold 4, tap and hold 4, tap and hold 4, tap and hold 4, tap and hold 4. So this is, for me, is really nice because otherwise I'd have to do function Alt 4, which for me is a lot more cumbersome. So hopefully that was informative and you'll find these features as useful as they have been to me. And I think QMK is a really cool firmware. You can do a lot of things with it. It's really well documented. And I hope you have fun with it.